Hi guys, Santa Bell with my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, Michaels has done it. They've marked um, their um, some pad, some uh, scrapbook paper pads down to three dollars and seventy four cents, and you can use the twenty five percent off total purchase even on the sale items. And I used my three seventy my uh, twenty five percent off coupon, and it worked. So if you can get yourself there tonight. If your store hasn't closed and if not get there right in the morning because I think this just this just all just went down okay let me make sure my camera's going okay so this is the first one um, this is um, sweet a lot of these are for the for our fall pads which I don't even understand why the fall pads are down to 374 fall hasn't even happened yet anyway it don't matter and a lot of these pads can be used for anything so I'm using this gonna be use this when I do a French country type of um, junk journal so anyway, let's get to it and I'll show them to you. And I, look, we're going to see how we're going to flip this because we only have so much room. All right, let me just see. We'll just see if we can go up like this. And if it gets crazy, we'll I'll turn it around the other way. Nope, we got to go this way. All right. Just a second. Let me see if I bring my thing back. That'll Okay, that's better. And maybe I, I want to be able to get everything in. Can I get it in like that? I think so. Yeah, because you guys, it's right here is the end. Okay, look at this. This one is called Sweet Harvest 48 Sheets, and it's like a um, it's fall or like to me it's very French country, and it has a lot of pink in it. Gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, and I think it's two of each sheet. Yeah, it's two. Now I want to say something. I won't use this probably this orange checkered thing. But you know what this is good for? Um, I like to use these kind of sheets for, um, oh, what is it called when we collage? and Master boards. When you don't like a sheet, use it for a master board. Love this. This is pretty. I love these cut aparts. Gather with love, welcome, and then these two. These would be great in junk journals because these would be great for journaling cards. And Gather with Love, that isn't just for um, for uh, fall. So I love that. Let me see if I can bring this back a little bit more. Just a second, I'm just gonna see if I can bring my camera. There we go, that might work a little better. Okay, I love this, this is beautiful. You got you get two of those. This is gorgeous. Look how shabby chic this is, or how French. You could, this could go shabby chic or French. And these are little small pink pumpkins. And I think like anything like that is so French country. So I would put this in my French country junk journal. Or if you're doing a fall one, definitely fall, especially if you like pink. But these are little pink pumpkins and flowers. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, this is one I probably won't use, but it'd be great. For the um, what did I just say? Yeah, what I just said. <laughs> Love this. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, beautiful. This is very pretty too. Very very pretty. I love that. This would be really pretty in a tall. If you do a tall skinny journal fold it in half the no, long ways and then put, you can put other stuff in here this is pretty I like this because it's pink pink checks this is pretty just gold little swirls I thought this was really pretty this is pink pumpkins isn't that gorgeous I love it and this is okay this one's okay. They're good backgrounds. Love this. Oh my God. Grateful and thankful. So beautiful. And like I said, this does not have to be used for fall or even for just Thanksgiving. Grateful and thankful is all year round. So, but I love this. God, this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Making sure you're seeing. Yeah, that's the bottom right there. This is pretty. 
I love this. It's pink and then it has gold like leaves and stuff. That's really pretty. I love this. Again, this is a beige background with pink pumpkins. Gorgeous. I got two of this one. This one I got two of. All the rest of them I only got one of each. But And I got five pads all together. Two, two are the same. This is gorgeous. Just use this whole page or even use these for cutouts. Cut out all these individual ones. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Not This isn't me at all. But um, master boards. But you could definitely, I would use it for making a master board. This is so pretty. Again, you could collage something really beautiful in the middle. Or once you fold it over, if you do a tall skinny journal, and then you could still collage something in here, put a message in here. Gorgeous. This is nice. This is a nice background. Again, another gorgeous page. I love the beige background and the pink and white flowers and mostly pink. That background, it's kind of, it has a lot of pink running through it too. Pretty. Look at these cutouts. <gasps> I love it. This is like a peachy pink pumpkin. Fall in love. I love that tag. I love, I love all of it. Happy harvest. I love all of it. Love it. This is pretty. I love it. That's real pretty. It's just real pretty background, but pink. It's very pretty. This is gorgeous. You can use it as a whole page. You could cut these out individually. They're pink flowers and white. Absolutely beautiful. And I think that's it. And that's it on this one. Oh my God, these are so gorgeous. I got two of this one. I was going to buy one. I go, girl, you know you want that one. You know you want two of that one. Okay, so here's my sec. Wait, no. Okay, this is a different one. I was thinking this, I had enough. This was the other pink one that I got, but it's in there somewhere. Okay, so let me cut this open. Oh, man, I got to cut to a page. Oh, man. It's okay got to be careful when you open up these paper pads. All right, let me take this off of here if I can. This one is called what? November so uh, sorry sorry sorry. Okay. Very and this is really they're all all the ones I got in my opinion are really really pretty. This is a very pretty background page. There we go. Whew. I got my little camera stand on the edge just so I can get all this in. This is so beautiful. And I love this. Happily Ever After. <gasps> I love this. Love this. I think this is so beautiful. And I think if you would have like kind of like a vintage vibe going in a, a junk journal, this would be beautiful in a vintage. This is beautiful. See how I messed up the page right there? Anyway, this is gorgeous. And I, I love anything with script. Love it. This is absolutely divine. Look how gorgeous that is. <gasps> so beautiful. I love this. Very old world. Very vintage. I told you, this one's really vintage-y. I... I didn't think I was going to like this one as much as I did when I, until I opened up and saw it. I went, oh, I love it. These are great cutouts uh, forever and always. And these are all cutouts. Autumn Bliss. Beautiful. This is beautiful. This would be really cool to uh, do some type of collage in there. And then put it in one of your tall journals. Fold it in half this way and then put it in a tall journal. That's pretty. Another basic background, which is nice. I love this because I love script. Beautiful. I don't even know what the script says. I don't care. I just, the fact that it's script, I love it. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, 
so vintage. And you know, some of this is very French country. Like this is French country too. This is gorgeous. Very, very vintage. Old world. You can use French country. To me, vintage, French country, old world, they're all that same, that same thing. This I thought was so beautiful. Isn't that just a beautiful page? So old world, so vintage. I love it. Beautiful. And this is pretty. It's like a wall, like a rock wall with uh, copper diagonal stripes, which is really pretty cool. This right here, I would do a master board on it. This. <gasps> you know I love this. It's so Tim Holtz, so old world, vintage, all of it. This is okay, but I probably wouldn't use this. I probably would do a master board on this. This is really pretty. I think this is gorgeous. I probably wouldn't use this one's pretty, but I probably wouldn't use it. Master board. This one again, master board. I probably wouldn't use that one, but it's it's nice. And it would really work, I mean, those are true fall, so, you know, if you're going to do a fall journal or whatever, a junk journal, that would probably, those would all probably really work. Again, this one's okay for me. I'll probably do a master board on it. I'd probably master board this one too, but it's nice. I love this. This is, again, a wall, and this time the stripes are gold. Very pretty. I think this is very pretty. I love this. Very rich. Very vintage. I like it. Okay. There's that one. And you guys, I just got back from Michael's. Just now. So, um, I'm not doing it like a week later. So, you guys can get over there either tonight or um, I just did it again to another page. I've got to be more careful with opening this. You know what, let me go on to, because I don't care if I ruin the cover. I'm going to go on the on top of the cover and do this. There we go. I don't care about the cover as much as the pages. I just nicked another page. Jeez. Thank God everything I do is rustic and vintage and old world. So it'll just add to it. But I still would like it not to be messed up. Okay, because I just bought it. All right, this one is Theater of the Stars. This is really pretty. This reminds me of like Harry Potter, and I've always wanted to do like a Harry Potter junk journal, or at least a, a kind of like a theme of that. And this is very Harry Pottery, like very Harry Potter to me. Even though it says Theater of the Stars, you'll see. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Very pretty. I mean, this isn't Harry Potter with the, with the moon and stars, but it's just really pretty. But to me, this page was very Harry Potter. I love this. All these cut aparts here. One night only, theater stars. Our time together is heavenly. And then these two. Oh. I just think this could be nice, like, it, all these could fit into a Harry Potter. Like, you have to mix it with some Harry Potter stuff, but I think it could fit in there. I love this. Beautiful. This is very, this is, this looks very Harry Potter to me. And so did this one. Beautiful. I was surprised that I liked this one. One Night Only, A Night of Magic. I love this. And yeah, this is very Harry Potter because what is Harry Potter? A lot of it's, they, they're learning magic. They're learning to be wizards. I love this because you know I love script. This is beautiful again. This reminds me, and the other one that was like this reminds me of like the, like the wallpaper of the walls in like where they would, you know, like in their quarters where they would stay. This is beautiful. This could be Hogwarts right here. A map of Hogwarts. I love this again. A night of magic. Look at this. So beautiful. Now that I'm looking at it, I almost wish I would have got two of this one. 
Not that I need to. <laughs> this has so many cool cut aparts. I love it. Love this. This is like a ticket. These are little, this is a map. That's cool. It's all cool. This is beautiful. Just a nice basic, but very beautiful marble. I love this. Oh, fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I, like I said, this is one of, this is my, maybe my second favorite as loving the whole pad from the pink one. This is beautiful. Look at this. I love it. And then I love this. Look at this. Our possibilities are endless as the night sky. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Again, this is like the wallpaper that would be in like Harry Potter, like their, like the quarters they live in. I love it. This is beautiful. Look at the map. Let me make sure that I'm not skipping anything. Yeah, look at the map. I love a map, especially an old world looking map like this. Oh, beautiful. Again, wallpaper. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. Oh, you guys, I, you know what? I, I, I'm, I'm loving this even more, being able to really, really go through it. I may go back and get another one of this one. There is magic by the light of the moon, a night to remember. Even when we are apart, our hearts are always under the same sky. Oh, that's beautiful. You know what? Tomorrow morning, they open at 9. I'm going to run back and get one more of this one. At three at $3.74. Fabulous. And I can't believe I'm buying more. I, you know, I make uh, printables. I make paper. Um, and I'm still buying paper. <laughs> But I like to take my own printables that I create and intermix them with other stuff. So um, this is the second one of the Sweet Harvest, the one that's all that pink Sweet Harvest. Okay, so we got one more, I think. Yeah, one more or two more? One more. This is it. Yeah, I'm going to go back tomorrow and get one more of that, um, the one I call Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, all right. Again, let's now go on top so I don't ruin any more I didn't ruin it, but, you know, nick any more pages. Usually I get my scissors in there and I don't nick anything, but I don't know. All right, that's done. Is this one? Oh, this one was already loose. Okay, good. I barely had to do anything for this one. Thank goodness. Let's see if I can get the tape off of here. Oh, my God, you guys, when I was at uh, Michael's today... They have, um, check yourself out. They only have two registers now. That is shameful. That is so sad for the Michaels workers. People, that's people's jobs. I was like, I go, when did they put these in? Cause I haven't been to Michaels forever. And I asked the lady, I said, when did they put these, um, self checks, ch self check checkouts in? She goes, they've been here since like December. I'm like, this is horrible. I go, just because we can, doesn't mean we should. That's people's jobs. Anyway. That was just sad to see that. They only have two registers. Registers. The rest are self-checkout. I was shocked. Okay, anyway, let me stop complaining. Autumn Dream. This is really pretty. There's a lot of pretty papers in here. Very pretty. This is like gold flecks on this fall, on this fall, on this fall, like little foresty trees. That's beautiful. I love this. And I thought for my French country, this is the country part of it. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to maybe throw this into my French country. I think I love that. This is okay. This is pretty. This right here, again, I would throw in my French country. Junk journal. This is pretty. I don't know if I'll use it, but it's pretty. This is pretty. Not sure if I'll use it, but it's pretty. Again, pretty, but I don't know if I'll use it. But I love this one. Look at this with all the pumpkins. Isn't that so beautiful? This is really pretty. And you know what? In a French country, this could look really pretty. I love this. 
I knit. I don't crochet. So these are all granny squares, and I absolutely love this. I mainly got this for this for this page. I love it, and I would put that in a French country. This is pretty. That's pretty. That's really pretty. This is gorgeous. This forest, I love it. I didn't think I was going to like these forests as much as I do. And they have gold specks all over it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I would put this in my French country. This is pretty. This is the other reason I got this paper pad. The sweaters. I told you I'm a knitter. I knit. And I love knit. I love knit everything. And these are a whole pile of knitted sweaters. <gasps> Yes, that would go my French country junk journal. This is pretty. A lot of these I won't probably use, but I'll use them and I'll um, do those master boards on them. Unless I decide I'm going to use them. This I thought was very cool. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? That'd be pretty in my French country. And then this is gorgeous. And it's so beautiful because it's, um, you know, like when, you, when you're cutting trees down and so it's all those and then there's gold in them that is so beautiful oh I love this isn't that neat so old world that's pretty that's pretty again I probably won't use that one master board for me I would put this in a French country. I love this. I think that is so beautiful. Isn't that pretty? And that's it. But I, I just got home from Michael's. Um, it's 7.30 West Coast time right now. But I just want it. So if you're on the West Coast, you'll have enough time to run to Michael's and pick these up if you want them. Um, did we see a mushroom one? Wait a minute. There's one with a mushroom. And I don't remember seeing the mushroom. Wait, maybe. Did I skip something? Just say, there's a mushroom right there. So I know there's a mushroom one. Did, I, did we did we see it? Did I skip that? There's one with a mushroom, and I wanted to see what that looked like. Just a second, guys. Sorry. I just want to see if I can find that. I mean, I thought I went through every page. Did I skip something? Oh, and the paper is nice. It's uh, it's it's cardstock. All the paper is cardstock. There it is. I did skip it. I did skip it. How did I skip that? What was before it? That's pretty. Did I show you that? All right, let me just show you a few because I don't know if I showed you this. Did I show you guys this one? Anyway, this is tree rings and then and, and gold in it and then these pumpkins. That is gorgeous. I think I ended up skipping. I don't know how I did. I think I we saw this one, but then I skipped right over these pumpkins or not pumpkins, the mushroom. I love that mushroom. Isn't that fabulous? I will use that. That's really fabulous. Okay, and the rest of them we did see. Okay, I'm glad I went back and found those. Okay, anyway, you guys, um, it's 7.30 right now, West Coast time. They're already closed East Coast, but West Coast time, they're still open. I think they're open till 9. Alexa, what time is Michael's open till? Michael's on South Decatur Boulevard in Las Vegas closes tonight at 9 p.m. Yeah, they're open from 9 to 9, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So you guys can still get over there tonight. If not, get over there first thing tomorrow morning because you guys know these are going to go quick. All right, you guys, that is it for this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, guys, we have more in common than we don't. And together, we're stronger. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.